Hey, how you doing? My name is Ben Ibbotson and I am a 2D animator. Today I want to show you how I made this cool cloud effect using only After Effects and shape layers. So let's jump in and have a look. So this is what I want to show you how to create today, using just simple shape layers with a few effects built on top of each other to create this really cool outcome. Cool, I'm here inside of After Effects and the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new composition. So I'm gonna click on this button. It's already gotten presets from my last one. So 920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. And I will make it 10 seconds long. So within this composition, what I want to do to begin with is create a new shape layer. So right click and go new shape layer. I'm just gonna create a circle. And I'll take, I'll make the fill white. It can be any color though, uh, whatever's easiest. Let's slightly off white and reduce my stroke. So I'm gonna pre-compose this and put it in its own little composition. So I'm gonna do Shift Command C and that's gonna pre-compose it. And I'm just gonna name this Cloud. So I'm gonna double click into my Cloud composition. And I'm gonna slightly change the size of this Cloud composition because I don't want it to be that big. So right click into my settings. I'm gonna make it roughly 1,800 wide by about 450 high. We'll leave it 10 seconds again for now. So this is gonna be where my cloud, um, where, I, where I create the base of my cloud. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my base, my base circle down first. So I'm gonna drag it to the bottom of the composition and then drag it along to the left. So I'm gonna start by moving the position of my circle. So if I press P on my keyboard, it brings up my position. Click this little stopwatch and I'll put a keyframe on our timeline. Come along to about four seconds. I'm gonna drag it along. So you can either drag it with these numbers here or just grab the actual circle itself and drag it. I'm pressing shift on the keyboard because that'll keep it going in a straight line. Because if I don't, it could end up going off and we want it to keep straight. So I'm press shift down and drag it along to where you want it. Now, if you can see, there's these little big, well, there's these big circles here. They're my Bezier handles. So there, if I want to bend my curve slightly, um, for this, I don't want to. So I'm going to select my keyframes, right click, go to keyframe interpolation and make this one linear and they'll disappear and that's just going to move in a straight line. So, so I've got the circle moving from left to right at a slowish pace, which is okay. But what we want to do, we want to start off with this circle smaller, getting bigger, and then ending small again. So I'll just put a keyframe on my scale property by pressing S and that gets that up. But now I want to see my scale and my position properties. Um, so if you press U on your keyboard, it activates any active keyframes, any active properties that have got keyframes on them. So I've got them both up now. So it comes to the end, add another keyframe here, and then around about one second, I probably want it to be a little bit smaller than it was. Uh, and then right at the beginning, I want it to shrink down because I want it to start off quite small. So it's gonna get bigger. And then around here is probably when it's gonna be the largest. And then it's gonna shrink again at the end. But what I want to do is slightly, instead of it being uniform scale, which is where it all scales at the same proportion, I'm gonna unlink my scale here and I'm gonna make it narrower. So this is my X scale. So if I grab that, it's gonna be thinner. So I kind of want ovals basically all the way through. And this last one will be a little oval as well. Like so. So now it grows, it grows again, and then it gets smaller and that's when it'll vanish. So I'm gonna make this one bigger because this is what I, want, what I want to be the biggest part of my cloud. So all I'm gonna do now is loop these keyframes. So when it gets to the end, it's just gonna go straight back to the beginning. So to do that's really simple. So if you press option, if you're on a Mac or alt, if you're on PC and click on the stopwatch here, you get this red, your, your properties become red and you get this little text window open up here. And all you need to do is write some dead simple code and After Effects will help you write it as well. So you just put loop and then it already gives you some options of what you want to choose. And all you want to do is just click loop out. So you can finish typing it or you can just click it 
and it'll populate it. And then just do the same on the property below. Loop, loop out and click away. So now what happens is when it gets to the end of the keyframes, it starts all over again. So I've got a four second loop. So I know what I'm working with. It's a nice round time. So I know four seconds, my cloud will be exactly the same. So what I'm going to do here, name my layer. And then I'm going to duplicate this up. And I'm going to offset it a second every time. And then all I'm going to do is create this looping now. So I've created this play bar in my window. So when it gets to four seconds, now what's going to happen is the cursor, the timeline will flick back to zero seconds. So that's looping. So the animation's looping, but obviously it's not because at the start of it, I don't have everything in. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to start at four seconds, drag this along. So now this should loop continuously. But it doesn't look much like a cloud. So there's a few other bits I need to add in here before I start adding in all my effects. What I want to do is just to create some kind of base shape. So I'll show you, so I'll go into my top composition and this is what the cloud's looking like. So I'm gonna start adding the effects I'm gonna put on and then I'll go back and fix what's broken. So firstly, I wanna add a transform effect. Just click that and drag it onto here. And what I want to do, I want to skew my clouds so that instead of being dead vertical, I want to skew them so they're pointing off at an angle. So to do that, if you change your skew axis here to 90, then you can change your skew angle to whatever you want. And there you go, we already feel like we're getting a cloud effect happening. So I'll go a 40, I like round numbers. So then on top of this effect, what I want to do is add a Gaussian blur. And this will all come together in a second. So I'm just gonna blur, blur my effects. So again, doesn't look much like a cloud at the minute, but it will do. I'll probably push that to 80. And again, we can tweak all these settings after, see what works and what doesn't work. And then the last effect I'm gonna add is a simple choker. And what that'll do, that'll just drag all of the blurry edges back into one bit, it blends them. So you see it blends it together. But like I said, what happens is it's broken. And that's because we don't have enough connecting shapes in between. So I'm gonna go back into my cloud effect I'm gonna add a new shape layer again, but this time I'm gonna add a rectangle. So I'm gonna change my tool. I'm gonna to add a rectangle roughly around that shape. It doesn't have to be, we're not gonna move this. That's just there to create a base. So you can see already, we're kind of getting our cloud effect happening again here. But again, what you'll see is it looks a bit odd because there's a bit at the beginning that doesn't really work. So I'll set my, my play bar to be a four second loop again on this. So this will loop, and it's it's kind of there, but it pops away at the end, the beginning's got nothing there, so it feels a little bit odd. So we still need to work inside this cloud composition to get it working. So I've obviously not put my rectangle in the right position. So I'll make my rectangle a little bit bigger. So it covers all of my circles. So it covers the beginning and it covers the end, just. Cool. So if we go back, that should fill in this gap here. So we're getting there, it's coming together. It's looking like we're onto something. So what I want to do now to stop this from popping, like that little pop at the beginning and end just feels a bit odd. I'm gonna just, Grab my circle at the front. I'm just gonna duplicate my circle. Grab, just change color so I know which ones do what. So I'll put the yellow ones as my static layers, just so they stand out and they can go to the bottom. It doesn't really matter because they're the same color. Um, and all I'm gonna to do to my circle is just delete my keyframes at the beginning. I'll duplicate it twice. Delete my keyframes at the beginning. Take the effects off because I don't need them anymore and I will delete them at the end as well. Take off the expressions because we don't need them. So now these circles will stay here and they don't come on or off. 
You can see we're getting there. It's feeling a little cloud-like. Then all I'm gonna do now is just play around with the settings to make it look how I want, but that's the basis of the cloud. So what I'm gonna to do to try and see how my other composition affects this composition is I'm gonna lock this window. I'm gonna put the windows side by side. There we go, so I've got my windows side by side so I can see what's happening at the same time. So I think what I want to do in here, I've locked that window. So now whatever composition I move into, I should be able to see both at the same time, yes. So what I wanna do, I probably wanna make everything a little, I wanna make this a little bit taller. So I'm just gonna move the anchor point by pressing Y on my keyboard, which activates this button. And then if you, or you can double press command and double click in here and it centers the keyframe, the anchor point to the center of your shape. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. You see that's giving us a bit more depth to our clouds, which is what we're after. But what I probably wanna do, my cloud's probably a bit too long. So I'm gonna shrink everything down a little bit. And then all I need to do are my keyframes of my clouds. I'm just gonna move them all in slightly. So I'm just gonna put them all to the same point. I'm just gonna tab them in. And then offset them all again by a second. Now I just need to move these in just so it's at the start of and this will look a little bit better hopefully. My first keyframe. My first so four nine. I've gone too far. There we go. One one tab too far. So how's that looking? And there we go, zoom in a little bit. I've got a cloud looking nice. So what I'm gonna do, just cause the edges are still slightly blurry, got the, cause that's the effect of the Gaussian, uh, of the simple choker. I'm just gonna add a little turbulent displacement to things. And all that's gonna do is just roughen the edges again slightly for me. Make it feel a little bit more organic. So reduce the sizes, there we go. Change the amount down a little bit. And it's just added that little bit of roughness to the cloud. And then all I'm gonna do is just animate this on the random seed by putting another little expression. Instead we'll do time times 100. There we go, that feels better. I'm just gonna slightly change these properties to make it look a little bit rougher. There we go. So all I'm going to do is just put it in the center of my composition, roughly there. Let's add a nice sky background. So do fill. I'm going to change it to a gradient. There we go. So I do roughly remember my gradient from before. Change my colors. Make. Uh, we'll make this one a little lighter. Little wire so you can. There we go, that's what we're after. Drag it to the bottom. So before I said my cloud was white and I want to change the color to make it bright white, so I'm going to add a slight fill, which really way don't really matter what's below your layer. So I'll turn it red, make it bright white. And the last thing I want to do just to add which I put on everything. It just posterize my time slightly. All I'm gonna do is put it to 12 frames per second so it gives it a little bit of stuttery, stop motion-y feel. And there you go, a nice wispy, organic cloud feeling thing. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I really enjoyed making it and I hope you got something from it. I'll be releasing a few more videos in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks again.